गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सेवन द इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पैंगुइन बुक ऑफ इंटरव्यूज एडिटेड बाय क्रिस्टोफर सिल्वेस्टर सो दिस चैप्टर इज टेकन फ्रॉम दिस बुक द पैंगुइन बुक ऑफ इंटरव्यूज बट एडिटेड बाय Christopher Sylvester Now before we read about the author let's talk about interviews It is a medium of communication a chief source of information about great personalities leaders and celebrities Yes we can also get their information through biographies and autobiographies but interviews convey the information in far lesser time with great clarity now this chapter has two parts part 1 talks about various opinions of the people regarding an interview and part 2 highlights an actual interview of a writer whose name is amberto eco and the interview is taken by mukun padmabhan so ambato eco who is being interviewed is called interviewee and mukan padmabhan who is taking interview is interviewer so in an interview there are two terms one is interviewer and the second is interviewee so let's read about the author christopher Sylvester born in 1959 was a student of history at Peter House Cambridge it is in England he was a reporter for private eye this private eye for 10 years and has written features for vanity fair it is vanity fair so private eye he was a reporter for private eye Pri- private eye is a fortnightly magazine and vanity fair is also a magazine but from america so following is an excerpt taken from his introduction to the penguin book of interviews and anthology from 1859 to the present day now this book penguin book of interviews this book is called an anthology now what is anthology anthology is a collection of poems stories articles of various authors so this book is called therefore this book is called an anthology and this chapter is taken from this book let's start the chapter part 1 as i have told part 1 will talk about various opinions of the people regarding an interview since its inception a little over 130 years ago the interview has become a common place of journalism now what is journalism journalism it is an activity of collecting writing editing and presenting news reports in the newspaper magazine and websites so journalism in journalism everything is included and interview is also a part of journalism because we have read so many interviews in the newspaper as well today almost everybody who is literate will have read an interview at some point in their lives while from the other point of view several thousand celebrities have been interviewed over the years some of them repeatedly so we all have read the interviews of so many celebrities and some of them have repeatedly interviewed so it is hardly surprising that opinions of the interview of its functions methods and merits vary considerably considerably so 
people have different views about the methods of taking interview functions of interview and merits and demerits so the opinion vary from person to person some might make quite extravagant claims for it as being in its highest form the source of truth and in its practice and art so many people claims extravagant claim extravagant means excessive claim or in elaborate way they speak in elaborate way about the interview that it is the medium through which the truth can be taken out from a person and taking an in interview it is an art others usually celebrities who see themselves as its victims might despise the interview here despise the interview means hate the interview and some other people especially celebrities they hate the interview and they say it is an unwarranted intrusion into their lives or feel that it somehow diminishes them now unwarranted intrusion unwarranted means unauthorized and intrusion means entry without invitation so celebrities feel that in taking an interview or giving an interview it is an unauthorized entry into their lives and they feel that it somehow diminishes them diminishes means it make them less important if they will give interviews they will become less important just as in some primitive cultures it is believed that if one takes a photographic portrait of somebody then one is stealing that person's soul now in primitive cultures primitive means in ancient culture it was believed that interview creates a picture in the minds of readers and viewers which according to the old saying steals the original identity of the person v s naipaul now we are going to read the views of v s naipaul v s naipaul feels that some people are wounded by interviews and lose a part of themselves now what is his views he says people are wounded wounded means they are hurt by interview and it loses a part of themselves lose a part of themselves means they lose their identity they feel disconnected from their real goal and dreams and next view is about louis carroll louis carroll the creator of alice in wonderland was said to have had a just horror of the interviewer and he never consented to be interviewed now louis carroll who is a writer of this book alice in wonderland he said he had a horror he was so horrified from the interviewer and he has never given consent to be interviewed he never agreed that okay i am ready to give interview now it it was his horror of being lionized which made him thus repel would be acquaintances interviewers and the persistent petitioners for his autograph and he would afterwards relate the stories of his success in silencing all such people with much satisfaction and amusement now this person what is the name of that person he is louis carroll now louis carroll he says that interviews make a person lionized makes a person famous important personality and then the person wants to avoid the acquaintances interviewers and persistent petitioners persistent means continuous and petitioners mean the person who makes request so when a person becomes very famous he has to avoid the persons who request them for autographs 
and thereafter with great satisfaction he would tell the stories of his success how he was able to silence them how he was able to avoid them so therefore he want to avoid being interviewed coming to the next next is the view of rudyard kipling let's see the views of rudyard kipling rudyard kipling expressed an even more condemnatory attitude towards the interviewer his wife carolyn writes in her diary for 14th october 1892 that their day was wrecked by two reporters from boston now rudyard kipling was also against interview condemnatory attitude means totally disapprove the interviews he was strongly he strongly opposed the interviews and his wife he once said that their day was wrecked wrecked here means spoiled the day was spoiled by two reporters from boston she reports her husband as saying to the reporters why do i refuse to be interviewed because it is immoral it is a crime just as much of a crime as an offense against my person as an assault and just as much merits punishment no according to her taking interview it is immoral immoral means it is unjust it is a crime and as much of a crime as an offense rather it is a sin and an assault assault here means it is an attack on a person if somebody is taking the interview it means he is attacking on the person and just as much merits punishment so that person should be punished who is taking interview these are the views of carol carolyn rudyard kipling's wife now next she says it is cowardly and vile so taking the interview is cowardly and vile it is a coward act and unpleasant act while here means unpleasant act no respectable man would ask it much less give it yet kipling had himself perpetrated such an assault on mark twain only a few years before now do kipling was against the interviews he strongly opposed the interviews but still he perpetrated such an assault perpetrated means he performed such an attack assault means attack he performed such an attack on mark twain only a few years before so rudyard kipling has taken the interview of mark twain though he strongly opposed interviews even then he has taken the interview next is the view of h g wells h g wells in an interview in 1894 referred to the interviewing ordeal interviewing ordeal ordeal means it is very difficult task a severe test a difficult test so h g wells referred it as the interviewing ordeal but was a fairly frequent interviewee and 40 years later found himself interviewing joseph stalin see though he was a, his comments were against interviews but still he has given interview and 40 years later he has taken the interview of joseph stalin coming to the next comment it is the comment of rather the views of saul bello saul bello who has consented to be interviewed on several occasions 
nevertheless once described interviews as being like thumb prints on his windpipe now according to saul bello interview is like a thumb print on his windpipe mark of thumb on the windpipe as if pressure is being put on the windpipe so it actually means one feels uneasy and suffocated during interviews yet despite the drawbacks of the interview it is a supremely serviceable medium of communication so we have read lot of drawbacks of the interview still we can say it is supremely serviceable medium of communication it is a good medium of communication because through interviews we can peep into the minds of celebrities leaders and great personalities these days more than at any other time our most vivid impressions of our contemporaries are through interviews dennis brain has written now what is the view of dennis brain dennis brain says that in the recent time if we want to know the vivid hermes the clear picture of any person who is who belongs to the present time in this modern time so it, the only way of getting the picture or impression of that person is through interviews next is almost everything of movement reaches us through one man asking questions of another so in the interview one man asks the questions and one sits in front so one man asking so many questions to the other and we get lot of information because of this the interviewer holds a position of unprecedented power and influence unprecedented means unparalleled unmatched power now interviewer holds a very high position because he has that power and influence due to which he can get the answers from the interviewee so this was chapter uh, first part of the chapter remaining part we will do in the second video thank you